All right, today uh, I, I got a few things that I would like to talk about and discuss. And uh, I guess today we can call it a little bit emotional. People are like, oh my God, Jerem, you don't have any emotions. I got emotions. I just know how to control my emotions, right? Because our emotions can be what they want to be, right? I can feel however I want to feel, but that doesn't meet it, the true reality of things. So um, I'm going to do that and I'm going to show you all some of my uh, the audio book that I've been working on. I put it in the course format, so I want you all to see that. But before we do that, we're going to do, like I said, some of the some of the emotional. We're going to address those things. Right. And what brought this up is uh, I, I I'm very conscious about my time. Right. And this gentleman, he's been like, Jerome, you don't come through. You need to come through more often, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, yeah, maybe if, if we set something up and we work on a uh, schedule, I'd be more than happy to do that. But I finally went to go see this person. And I've been encouraging this person to do video. I'm like, why don't you do some some video, do more video? And he's like, oh, that's not my one thing. Uh, I'm trying to focus on my one thing. And I'm like, well, what does that mean? Right. Because everybody tells you to like focus on one thing. But to be realistic. That's not a realistic thing. There's no way we can focus on just one thing. Right. We got to do all these little multiple things in between. And I've known this for quite some time as a business professional and even a work professional. Right. You don't go to work just doing one thing. There's a bunch of things in sequence that you got to do. There's a lot involved. So I was asking, I'm like, well, what does that mean to focus on your one thing? He's like, uh, it's not my one thing. And I'm like, actually, it doesn't have to be your one thing, but it contributes to your one thing if you want to go about the one thing concept, right? He's like, actually, you're right. And I'm like, yeah, I know I'm right. You're you're just, and y'all know me by now. I just say things the way they are. I'm like, you're just making excuses. He was like, yeah, I'm making excuses. We can call them what they were. And I'm like, okay, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate somebody telling the truth more than trying to hide behind something. So that is something that I did appreciate about that gentleman. He he admitted and he's making excuses. Anyway, um, one of the things that he said, I was like, okay, so how's that going? He's like, it's, it's taken away from my one thing and I have ADD. And that bothers me. Right. So this is where I'm saying that it's being emotional because people make all kinds of excuses about why they can't get stuff done or do something. Right. And the ADD thing pushes my buttons because I legitimately have ADD. Right. Me as a child, I wasn't. And it's not self-diagnosed. Right. Because everybody these days, they want to find out, oh, is something wrong with me. They're trying to find an issue that's wrong with them. Right. And instead of finding out how you can overcome that issue or how you can use that to your strength or something like that. Right. So I was legitimately diagnosed with ADD as a child. Right. And I don't really think there's like a lot of validity to people saying they have ADD or even the doctors about ADD. I think ADD is a is it's a it comes from people not caring about something. Right. Because when you care about something, you're going to focus on that thing, right? And yeah, maybe there's a minority of one, two, it may be up to 10% of people that have ADD, but it's not as many people as that are saying that they have ADD, right? So I never, and I hardly ever talked about the fact that I have ADD. There are like legit medical records proving that I have ADD to the point where we had to, it was me and my siblings, right? Me, my brother, my sister, we were taken through foster care and foster homes, homes abuse, Right. And one of the things uh, the, the they didn't want us to to kind of control us, they wanted to put us on medicine. And I don't know if the ADD was real, whatever. The, the point is, I legitimately had ADD and they, I had to take medication for having an ADD, like legit medical condition ADD. And I don't use that as an excuse. I don't bring it up to be like, oh, this is why I didn't get that done. This is why I can't focus. Right. In order for you to focus. You just got to have the discipline. Right. And I took some notes. So I want to reference those those notes. Right. You got to have the discipline. It's not about, oh, I got ADD. Every, listen, we got more things than ever these days. Technology, tools, content, resources, all of that stuff is available. You pick something that you like, something that you can enjoy and you focus on that thing. And if you can't like it, maybe you shouldn't be in that part of the business or something like that. Maybe you delegate it. Maybe you partner up with somebody that does like it or that can utilize it a little bit better. So. Uh, we got to stop using ADD as an excuse. I legitimately have like real ADD, right? ADHD too. Attention deficit hyper disorder, attention deficit disorder. Like le they legitimately diagnosed me with that. And then my brother, they, you know, they diagnosed him as well. And then my sister, they didn't do my sister as much because, you know, they try to get the men, but we legitimately had ADD. So 
Um, I, I wish people stopped using that as an excuse to not succeed or not perform because I legitimately had it. And like I said, uh, maybe I'm being emotional about it, but you can't use that as an excuse because I don't use it as an excuse. So stop using it. When, when he asked me, he's like, I'm like, oh, you've really got ADD. Uh, you got any med medical records? He's like, no, it's self-diagnosed. Yes, I know it is because you don't have ADD. You just need to focus. So you want to succeed, you need focus, discipline, and uh, everybody hates this, but they know they need it. You need that seriousness and that accountability, right? Was, Jerome, you're so serious. Yes, I am very serious, right? I am very serious, and that's why I succeed, and that's why I accomplish the things that I need to accomplish, right? You go and you show me somebody that's all over the place, spontaneous, sporadic, not in control of their time, not in control of their lives, and you show me success. You show me their success, and it's not likely. So keep that up. Uh, next, I uh, so I had set an appointment with this other person. I set an appointment. I'm like, okay, you be on time. And this time, I usually only give you one minute until you're late. I set an appointment with this woman. I'm like, okay, why why were you late? And then I was like, do you want to? Are we going to? Um, what are we doing? I yeah, bro, you benefited it out. And she was like, yeah, I was asleep. And I'm like, okay, cool. And I'm like, why why are you bringing that up? Because frankly, I, I didn't care. I, I really didn't care why you were late. I wanted to know why you were bringing it up. Oh, we just small talk. I don't care about small talk. Why are you bringing it up? Because I was hoping that you were bringing it up to apologize, but that wasn't the intent. It was just small talk. So I was like, okay, obviously you don't respect my time. Oh, I do care about your time. I do. Okay. No, you don't. And maybe we reschedule. OK, we reschedule then. And then I respect out. And this person doesn't want to say anything to me because I'm holding them accountable for being respectful of my time. Right. Right. As a business owner, as a person, period. Like the, that's the one thing that you can't get back is time. You can't get time back. So you have to let people know that they need to respect your time. You have to set the ground. Right. And some people are not going to like it. And that's OK. Maybe they're not for you. Maybe they're not your customers. Maybe they're not your friends. Maybe they're not your client, whoever it is. Don't deal with those kind of people. So uh, next thing I wanted to talk about is everybody swears they're so unique and different, but there are proven processes, systems and ways that things work. There's formulas and you have to stick to those formulas. Um, one more thing that I want to talk about, people always bring up. Uh, in regards to like video, right? Video and speaking and helping others. And it's very selfish. They always talk about, this is another thing that bothers me. They always talk about how shy they are, right? I'm shy or I'm an introvert. And that that's selfish because you're not here only for you. You're here to help others, right? Including you, your your family, including the, the customers, the clients, the people that you have to serve. So the, the more you stay closed off and introverted and shy, the, the the more of a disservice you're doing to your customers, your family, the, the people that we just mentioned. So don't use that as an excuse. Uh, I had this mentor. He always say, Jerome, you used to be so shy and because I was quiet. And I, I was never the last time I was shy. I was like in elementary school. So just because I be, just because I'm quiet doesn't mean I'm shy. Right. And if you read my intro, my my professional introduction, it always says I'm a bold introvert. And people say, how do you do that? Is that possible? Because they have an ignorant understanding of the word introvert, right? Introverts, is, it just means that they res you charge up your energy a little bit differently. So yes, um, I'm an introvert. And yes, I can be quiet, but there's nothing timid about me. I'm not timid at all. And I just want, I'm bringing that up because I want people to stop saying that they're an introvert and using that as an excuse not to speak or not to present or give things to their customers and their clients. Don't use that as an excuse. I'm one of the biggest introverts you can you can know. And that's even more reason why you should, um, I'm not talking about video totally and specifically, but that's one of the reasons why you should get into video marketing. Right. So you don't have to have as many conversations. You can start creating these videos and letting the videos do the conversation for you. But enough of me ranting. Let me show you all my uh, my audio book is almost finished and I put it inside of a course format like 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 I told you before. So this is uh, this is how our course uh, like our course platform looks. And this is what we give to our customers and clients. So people come through. Oh, can you help me build a course and blah, 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 and website marketing system, whatever you need, we, we can do, right? And no, we don't do it for free. So we have prices. So I just need to set set that um set those expectations. But this is we've been re I've been recently working on an audiobook. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna show you a preview of it. The first book has just been finished and it's going to Audible very, very soon. So 
this is the audiobook for my book that you see in the background. You should see it remarketing. Uh, this is the audiobook, and this is what the course format looks like. So when you purchase the book, if you decide to get the core, if you decide to get the audio, the audio is available and ready. This is what the course looked like. This is an overview. Bring up the highlighter for you. This is an overview. That's the audio book. This is like one of the bonus chapters inside of the audio book. This is uh, these two are being worked on right now. They, they should be finished by the end of the week. But these are the other two books, uh, Productivity Secrets and then the Ultimate Video Marketing Guide that's also included. So when you come through the website, you get a uh, you get the audiobook bundle. It's not just a book. You get the bundle, so you get all of the audiobooks included. Th these are the two books. Um, this is this is stuff that's all included. Start here. We got a personal letter for you. We go in here, and we got even more content in here. We got a letter in here for you detailing how you can get a free consultation. This is what it looks like. You can come in here. See that? Now let's go back. Uh, let's go back again that stuff there then we got even more so when you buy the book you can start reading it immediately let me show you what that looks like so so you don't have to wait while it's shipping to you in the mail you can start reading this thing asap this is what it looks like it takes a little bit while it takes a little while to load but this is it it's got a couple of chapters in here for you to start reading so by the time your actual book gets there you can have a jump start on what it is that you need to do over here is you can click here and you can jump over to kindle right now it's on kindle either for free or 99 cent let's see uh, more we got the companion guides here this is the stuff that's included in throughout the book we reference and we talk about a companion guide this is the companion guide then for anybody that's interested in coaching we got ultimate implementation coaching um for you. So if you need coaching, you're like, look, I'm tired of these courses. I'm tired of this stuff. I just want the bottom line. I'm trying to figure this out. Jerome, help me get there. We got some coaching for you available. Uh, we got a course. Uh, you can get access to our course too. Uh, I, I, I want to stop right here for a second because when I first started this course, I went through a training and coaching, right? And they had me like list out. I really, really appreciate coaches and courses and training. And we start i started off i started off this course i did exactly what they told me to do right and it's like people always try to get into a program or something like that and they try to change it during never do that like follow the process and then um you can change it later like once you have success so i started off this course started off at seven dollars right and it was i was like man i gotta give away all my top tips and secrets and everything that 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 helped me succeed in my business for only seven dollars like who would do that and um it's like emotionally that's my reaction right but i know because i'm a coach and i understand you know i've been through many coaching programs like i know that you got to do what works so they told me to list it at seven dollars so I, I did it at seven dollars but then um, I was slowly graduating and keep upping the price. The more value that we had, it was already a lot of value in there for like seven dollars. But as we proceed, I added more and more and more and more, and it, it keeps going up. So uh, I entered another coaching and another program, and they told me to take up the price. So that's what I'm doing now, taking up the price, and it's still doing great. It's still selling well because that value is there. So I, I was crying a little bit. Oh my God, seven dollars! I got to sell this thing at seven dollars, but. I followed the program, I listened to the coach and I did what works. And now after I left that program, I entered another program and it was like, look, take your prices up. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm following exactly what they tell me to do. People always make this excuse. Oh, we can't just listen to people because you don't never know. They might tell you to jump off a bridge. Shut up. That's not get. Come on now. So um, keep that in mind. Right now, the course is priced at, I think it's at like, uh, I think it's at like $5.97. And it's still doing just as well as it was when it was only seven dollars. And um, it, I'm just proud of that. So we do have that course available for you. Let me switch over back to the screen. If you're interested, you can buy that. Uh, we give you X and this is all like all of this stuff is included when you purchase just the book. Right. So you only pay you pay for the shipping on the book and you get all this stuff in, included. And this is not even everything. I can't tell you everything here. You have to see it for yourself. But even more, this is the remarketing podcast. We have a podcast that we do. You get in here, you get to pop in and see some of the episodes. Let me see. We got like a real podcast, dude. This is the real deal. There you go. So you can get you come in here and see our different 
podcast shows available. We got we got 30 something episodes in there right now. All around business, tech, marketing and leadership. And it's tailored to like real estate entrepreneurs. So you can pop in here. You can listen to this. Uh, th- this podcast is also available on Spotify, uh, iTunes, all of the like major popular software sites. Is, it's available there. So we got the real thing here. It's a real thing. And if you wanted to be a guest, you can kind of click in here, come fill out this form and be a guest on our podcast as well. Love to have you. Let's see. Let's close that down. Uh, we got the Facebook the Facebook community. So if you want to get your questions answered, uh, interact with other people, you can pop into that Facebook community and get that. We got our testimonials, reviews, test uh, success stories. This is all here. You can click in here. You can start to view some of that, see how some people are doing. Let's see what's in there right now. So there you go. Some success stories. Uh, some success stories for people that listen and follow directions, right? Because you always get those hard headed people that think they know what they're talking about or know what they're doing. Uh, then we got these bonus, these bonus masterclass and this bonus content. All this is included. The crazy part is all you got to do is pay for the shipping of your book and you get all of this stuff. So, yeah, uh, enough of me talking. That was my rant. Uh, bottom line, stop, stop self-diagnosing yourself with ADD and using that as an excuse. Um, stop making stop making excuses if you want success. Stop making excuses um, let me see. Um, respect your time, right? Make others respect your time. Be serious. You don't have to work by only appointments like me, but make sure people treat your time with respect because that's important. So we got some chats in here. See Ronnie, Shaq. Yeah, Ronnie. I like I like Ronnie. I hate when people don't show up on time. You you got to show up on time. That matters. So. Facebook user. Um, I think that's all I have for you. So uh, I'll, I'll drop. Let me see. Can we do something fancy with the software? If you want the book, all you got to do is visit. There you go. Visit that site. And you can get access to our book. Uh, all you got to do is cover the shipping. Shipping is like whatever uh, USPS is like 16 or $17 or something like that. And we'll send you that entire package. Uh, let me see. Do I have? I have some of it over here. I'm missing like one book, aren't I? Yes, I'm missing one book. But here you go. You get these two. And you also get the ultimate video marketing guide, which I can't find right now. We ran out because we're doing really great too with the sales. We got Google ads running, we got Facebook ads running, and people are really enjoying the content. So uh, we got a new shipment coming in. I think about the twelfth or twelfth or the thirteenth or something like that for the other stuff. Yeah, I'm going to jump off. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you listening and I'll see you on the other side.